Hi, in this video I'm going to highlight how you send a file to or how you set up an assignment upload so that your students can upload their assignments to Moodle. Why is that advantageous? Because if they upload an assignment to Moodle, that means they won't send it to you individually by email and they might all get lost or some of them might get lost and then it's hard to also remember which email belongs to what student and then you have to search by the student and email them back. And in, in, in other words, I mean, it creates this additional, since it's not centralized, it can bring problems. Our Moodle centralizes that process in that they all upload to Moodle. You can download all submissions if you want from Moodle, but then when you're grading, you can grade one by one. You grade one, go to next, and it has a button that says save and go to next, and then you are able to, to grade more efficiently. Um, it also allows you to send them a file back, send them a comment back, send them a file with track changes back. So it allows you to provide even a more detailed feedback if you wanted to as well. So how do we do this? Well, again, let's start by changing the topic. Uh, let's change it to assignments. Before, we used to have various types. We had offline assignments. We had text, uh, in inline text. We had uh, advanced file upload and simple file upload. Now you just have assignments, file upload, basically. So it's being collapsed into one category, which is a good thing because it just means that you just got to look at the category carefully and select the options that you want to select. Um, file upload, and then we also have another option, which is turn it in which is similar. The difference is that Turnitin allows you for a check for plagiarism. We'll also go over that one. Okay, so we have that. Now we add an activity resource. You Here you can read what you can use it for. When you add an assignment, it's also automatically added to the gradebook, which is important to also know uh, because it keeps you, and the gradebook is very flexible. It allows you to grade with scales. It, if you think you want to do something with a gradebook that's complex, uh, most of the time, I'm pretty sure, it, Moodle, the Moodle gradebook should be able to do what you want to do. Extra credit, scales, etc. Uh, so assignment, we'll name it file upload. Remember, if they're read, they're required. So this one's read, it's required. Upload your final. Okay, so here you have something that's pretty useful. When do you want submissions to be due? I want them to be due Friday, for example. But the cutoff, cutoff day is one day later. You can set it that way. Um, you can require them to click the submit button. You, there are a lot of good options here, which are important to, to look at. Let's say we wanted to have the option to just copy paste their whole essay instead of sending a file. You can give them that option as well. Sending more than one file, you can give them that option. You send your comments, not only a paper, but the comments with the paper. You can allow that well as well. Um, if you want an offline grading board sheet, you can have that as well. Uh, and if you have a question what they mean, you can press the other question mark. Okay. Uh, again, the gradebook is complicated, so don't worry so much. Just grade it however you want to grade it, and then worry about the gradebook later. Save and return to course. So now I'm going to want you to try this uh, file upload. We won't cover Turnitin in this video. I'll cover Turnitin on the next video. But before you create your own file upload, I wanted to show you something. Sometimes we, as IT fellow and just tech support, we create a dummy account or a student account that's not really a student account inside courses or add ourselves as students so that we can test out the materials. We recommend that people do that themselves too. So if you want to test your own materials, you want to make sure that they're working adequately, we can help you create a dummy account so that you can access your course and test out that it's working the way you want it to work. Because students see something else. Now we can simulate not perfectly, but we can simulate what students see in the course. Since I don't have a dummy account in this course yet, I'm just going to do that. And the way you do that is you go to settings, all the way down to switch role to, and then switch role to student. And now this table here changes. It has an add submission button. We'll click there. We have the opportunity for an online text if we wanted to. In this case, I'm just going to send a file, drag and drop, save changes. It allows you to edit, consider again if you're ready to submit it, ready to submit it, are you ready to submit it for grading, yes, yes. And that's pretty much it, now the assignment's there. 
Um, I won't go over the details of the gradebook, but you do have the ability, you can see here, view and grade all submissions, download all submissions. I hope that was helpful, and it's, uh, in my opinion, it's one of the best features that Moodle has, the ability to keep things more organized. Thanks.